the jungle in Thailand. First filming location for the AMG GTR campaign. The international film crew battle with technical problems, heat and monsoons. The schedule was extremely tight. Fortunately, the new camera arm was now working and other equipment was also holding up. The initial shots were very promising. After three days of filming, everything here was in the can. But the film was long from finished. Yes, we're now here at the Nürburgring. This is the second part of our production process. Having previously shown an exaggerated version of the Nürburgring in Thailand, today we're now here at the real location, the actual Nürburgring, and are filming here our actual Nürburgring scenes. But there was nevertheless a problem. The GTR was still top secret, and paparazzi could be lurking at the circuit. A similar model was therefore prepared for the filming. It would later be made into the GTR using computerized special effects. I marked up the car now with this uh, neon orange tape. So when we analyze this with the computer later on, the computer can uh, calculate how the car is standing and how the camera is moving around this. So then it should be an easy task for us to insert the CG car on top of this one. And then we're gonna take lighting references for everything and uh, shade the car so it will look completely realistic in this light and in this environment. A double was used for the driver too. Lewis Hamilton was tied up with race preparations and PR commitments. So a professional stunt double stepped in for the filming as had already been done in the Thai jungle. Um, well, first of all, I'm looking very much looking forward to see the edit because I think it's going to I think it's going to be a, a, a killer spot, and I think it's going to it's going to represent speed and energy, and, and so that's what I look the most sort of forward to. In contrast to Thailand, everything at the Nuebog Ring ran smoothly. One compact day of filming was enough. Then it was off to the final filming location. Today we're here in Italy for our final day of filming. We're at Como, right next to the lake in a fantastic villa, and we've had Lewis Hamilton with us. As we, of course, had lots of jungle scenes in our concept, and Lewis was not there for that, we restaged the scenes that we needed with Lewis here on location today. Lewis Hamilton had only found out a few weeks earlier that he'd been playing a role here. Would he identify with the concept of the ad? And more importantly, with the car. You always want more in a car. You want it to be the best it can be. I think this is this. Um, say if AMG have taken the GT and turned it into the GTR, and this is all you can get from it. Well, my impression of Lewis Hamilton today across the whole day was that he was very much on top of things, as he is as a racing driver, and straight to the point. I found that very helpful for us as a team. What's more, I also noticed that at the end he thanked me again for organizing things and for the fact that everyone was so willing to offer help. And my feeling too was that he had great fun and quite simply enjoyed it. The shots with Lewis Hamilton were the last of the extensive filming work. The crew were exhausted, but happy. It now remained to be seen if all the effort had been worth it. Would the Beast of the Green Hell commercial go down well with the car fans? For ultimately, that's all that counts. <laughs>